I knew something was going to go wrong today. <laughs> Here's a very long story. Okay, so I had a science exam today, a physics exam. You need a scientific calculator. The one that I had was okay. I mean, it was, the display was working fine, but it was having some difficulties with powers. Sometimes with a few powers, like really large powers, it was having problems with. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll um, just bring two along, just in case something really bad happens. So I took my business analyst calculator with me as well, which is a single line display and really hard to work with exponents. Would you believe it? The Casio that I had, the FX991MS, midway through, <laughs> my decimals and my commas just disappear. All of them. No commas, no decimals. So I'm like, there's something obviously wrong here. I fiddled with it for about a minute or two. And it's like, you know what, forget it. I'll just use the other one. So that means I would have had to have bought yet another calculator. But I bought two. Just so I would have a scientific one here. I bought another 991MS and one of these. We're going to take a look at the 991MS first. So let's see what kind of comic relief this is due for. There we go. Out of the box that comes. And uh, here are the instructions, which I already have. Actually, let's see what the, you have the back, all the instructions on there, but that's not really useful. Here are all your instructions. You have name things. I will definitely use those. Uh, we have the Casio limited warranty. We have the second user guide for the advanced functions. We have that in French, which is in green. And the ordinary user's guide. I've already gone through this, so you should all already know how to use this. Basically, it's just the same as the one that I had before. There's nothing else different about it. You can see, apart from not being able to get the damn thing off. Urgh, I don't want to bust it. There we go. Just a little um, stiff. So there you go. It's all nice and clean. Unlike mine, it's not scratched. Yeah, I mine fell on the floor and it got all scratched. It was beautiful before that, and then it all got scratched, so, yeah. So much for clean. And then we have the next one. There's really nothing to see here. So let's take a look at the next one. What we have here is an FX991ES plus C. The only difference between this and the other one, apart from being silver and having... Uh, oh, it actually does have a few more features. Okay. But uh, it also has a, um, a different display that is more like a textbook display. So instead of, so it can actually do like real fractions instead of just that cheap little thing that normally ordinary calculators do. Out comes that. Yeah, it works. All right, cool. This can come off. Oh, actually, no, it can't because it is actually protected by these things. You have to come off first. This, by the way, oh, I forget the name of that. Damn it. I know there's a special name for that tape, but I forget what it is. So we'll come back to that. Let's take a look at the um, manual. Wolves, the hell? So basically, they are technically the same. Actually, no, they're not. It's one big, gigantic manual. We have the limited warranty, like before. Whoops. But we have the 115 ES Plus and the 991 ES Plus C which is supposedly a better calculator, obviously. 
made by Casio Computer Corporation Limited. I didn't know they still made computers. Do they even make computers? Well, they might make computers. Anyway, there's the French manual of the same. Let's take a look at the actual calculator itself, shall we? Notice that with this one, you don't actually get the little name bars. I'm going to put one on there anyway. Unless they come behind it. Nope. There's your battery. Still has the same uh, conversion chart and all that stuff that the other one has. Check out that display, though. Check out how different that is. Watch what happens when I hit mode. Ooh. It's definitely different. Check that out. It can do real fractions. But that's pretty much it. And you saw the uh, the nice little um, logo. It shows up when you shut it down. So that's pretty much it. Short little calculator video. There's um, an update to the string of bad luck that I've been having recently. And uh, hopefully that all clears up. And uh, there you have it.